Today is the day. You decided to buy your first home. Time to hop in the car and start looking at for sale signs and making calls. You're excited and you want to make this happen. Wait. Buying your first house starts out exciting, but simply jumping into the process without a plan will not only give you anxiety and frustration, it can lead to very costly mistakes. In the next few minutes, we'll outline 12 steps for buying your first home. As important as the steps is the order in which they are executed. This step-by-step -step process will save time, minimize stress, and increase your chances of getting the best house for your money. In this video, we'll summarize each step. In subsequent videos from the Home Buyer Channel, we'll cover each of them in more detail. The first step is to make sure your credit rating is in good order. A low credit score can make financing more expensive or even prevent you from getting a home loan. Get a copy of your credit report, make corrections if necessary, and do whatever you must to get your rating as high as possible before you do anything else. The second step is to get an idea of how much house you can buy. There is no sense in falling in love with a house you can't afford. According to Freddie Mac, a quick initial estimate can be determined by multiplying your gross annual household income by 2.5. But this calculation doesn't fully consider your expenses or your existing debt. The best way to factor these in is by calculating your debt-to-income ratio. Eventually, your mortgage lender will do this for you, but you can get a head start by doing the calculation yourself. The next step is finding a mortgage professional and getting pre-approved for a loan. Many new home buyers want to skip this step and go directly to looking at houses, but don't. There are several good reasons for getting a loan pre-approval. First, the size of your loan pre-approval determines which houses are in your price range. Second, loan pre-approval makes you a desirable buyer. This is especially important if you end up competing with other buyers for a particular house. There are several different places to begin looking at mortgage loans. You can go directly to a lender such as a bank, or you can use a mortgage broker who will work as your agent to help you find a lender who best meets your needs. There's also mortgage marketplaces where you can compare different lenders. Now that you know the price of the house you can afford, you're ready to choose a real estate agent. This could be one of your most important decisions. A good agent will be a trusted guide through the rest of the process. Finally, with your loan pre-approval and a trusted agent, you are ready to look at homes. Don't be surprised if this process takes months, but be ready to move quickly if a promising house suddenly appears on the market. When you find the house you want, it's time to make an offer. Though it's common to offer slightly less than the list price, remember that every local market and seller is different and that in some cases you will be competing with other buyers. In most cases, you should expect a counteroffer and be ready to negotiate. Keep a cool head and look at the big picture. This is the time when a good agent can prove to be invaluable. Once the deal is acceptable to both parties, the offer is accepted and a closing date is set. It typically takes 30 to 60 days to close. Soon after the offer has been accepted, a home inspection should be performed. This cost is normally paid by you, the buyer. Get this inspection done as soon as possible to allow time for repairs and renegotiation. In most cases, even the most pristine houses will have something that comes up during inspection that needs to be repaired. Unfortunately, this is when things can become needlessly contentious. Don't get hung up on the many small items that can show up on an inspection report. Instead, focus on the big items that could be costly to fix. Before closing, you will need to get homeowner's insurance. In many cases, you can get an overall discount if you purchase homeowners and car insurance from the same company. The final step is the closing. As daunting as this may seem, your agent will guide you through the process. They have been through it many times before. Now that you know the 12 steps to buying your first home, you're ready to set out on your journey. Subscribe to the Home Buyer channel so you can learn in detail the most important aspects of each step. If you liked this video and want to continue to learn more about various aspects of home buying, please subscribe to the Home Buyer channel. If your business involves home buying or financing, we encourage you to embed this video into your website. Use the comment section to let us know what you think of this video and what other types of home buying topics you would like to see in the future.